What's going on guys? This is Chimpack bringing guys the Base Lord CTC versus Conflict for SPL Week 2, Black and White OU. So looking at Base Lord's team, he's got a pretty offensive team. Uh everything is really, really strong, and Conflict's got himself well CTC said it was a stall team, but you know, it's it's a pretty defensive team, I'm not gonna lie. So Base Lord's gonna switch out to Starmie. Uh, expecting the double switch into Gliscor or Skarmory and now he's gonna go for the nice and powerful Psy Shock to get the Roserade on the switch. This man has no fear of the Tyranitar to come in uh, just because Analytic Hydro Pump is capable of knocking out the T-Tar so here he's gonna stay in just in case Conflict uh, goes for the Pursuit he'll be able to get another kill considering it is Analytic and he'll be able to get the boost and knock it out. So he's gonna switch out to Scizor here and go for a Swords Dance just to you know get a little heat check on the Heatran. So the Heatran is definitely faster than the Scizor. So he's gonna switch out, go out into his Salamence, and this Salamence is not Scarfed. Uh, he did switch it out turn one, but it is not Scarfed. It is Specs. So he's actually just gonna go <laughs> straight for the Hydro Pump, nail the Gliscor switch in, and that is that's a nice five to four lead for the Base Lord right now, the Dawn. And he's going to switch out to T-Tar here, and Base Lord's just going to switch out to Jirachi. Get the free switch in because there's no other move that he's going to go for other than Crunch and Stone Edge. Stone Edge is more likely. So here he's going to switch out to Heatran and the Base Lord, of course. Going to double switch back out into the Salamence. And now now he's just like thinking, alright, I click a button and something dies. So he can either go for Hydro Pump to knock out the Heatran, or he can go for Draco Meter to knock out the Jellicent. But of course, sometimes, like you have to outplay matchup and you have to outplay luck and uh he goes for draco meteor and of course he misses so he's gonna be he could have switch out here expecting to double into heat tramp but you know what he's just gonna go for draco meteor again he knows that he specs he knows that he can take out the jealous in one hit even if it is bedeath and he's just gonna just sack the <laughs> salamence here but you know what he gets a crit gets rewarded for missing the draco meteor earlier on in the game so you know no big deal he's gonna go to skarmory here and the base lord of course is gonna save the salamence for later just in case he does need it for the jellicent and he's just gonna go out to jirachi here as conflict does set up the stealth rock as base lord does does the same thing so scarf tar goes for crunch and ctc is just gonna go for the iron head and now now here's a play ctc is gonna go for the icy wind here just to get the speed drop on the T-Tar so he can knock it out with the Iron Head. But, you know, that's just the basic play. Like, he can go for Iron Head and knock it out, but the Base Lord is thinking a couple years ahead into the game. Goes for Thunder, expecting the switch, and down goes... This 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 Jellison is basically gone. It's gonna... If it stays in, it's gonna die to Iron Head or Thunder. And if it switches out, it's gonna... It's gonna die to Hazards and pretty much any attack. So he's just going to go for the Iron Head and knock it out. And Skarmory can't really touch Jirachi either way. So he's just going to go for another Thunder. And be able to knock this thing out in one hit. So this is just CTC coming straight through making plays. You might be thinking, wow, CTC got really lucky with some of his plays. Like these predicts wouldn't have worked on me. But you know what? They would have. This man gives other black and white OU players nightmares. You might think he's playing well, like exceptionally well in this game. But that's just another Saturday for him. This man is just out here to win. And you know what? I'm glad he's on the classiest and not another team. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.